morning everyone, happy Tuesday. I am so sorry that it's been a couple days since I've posted a video. Life kind of got in the way this past week. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping that I can start posting a little more regularly, especially um, this coming month because it's supposed to be a pretty busy one. Um, I actually did do a little vlogging yesterday, but it was just like a little bit. When I was living in Canada, I fell in love with crepes and lately I have been craving crepes. And so I've actually never uh, like looked for a place to eat them here in Florida. And so I thought it would be fun yesterday if my friend and I would go on a little adventure and try this one place called the Crepe Vine. And so I did vlog there, but it was not enough to like put post a video today. Um, so I am gonna show you that right now. vlogged yesterday's sunset because it was incredible. It was so pretty. It was like bright yellows and oranges and reds and like the sun was just this like ball of orange that you could actually look at. It didn't hurt your eyes. It was just amazing. And so I was able to catch that on on a video and I wanted to show you that right here. Okay, so today is the day that I am actually going to plant the pumpkin. It is totally out of control at this point and it has got to be planted. So I'm doing it today. No more excuses, it's getting done. problems. <laughs> 
the camera fell right when we were pulling the plant out of the trash can, but it did get into its spot. I'll show you guys that, the final product in a little bit, but right now I have to move a bunch of dirt so that I can cover this thing up as well as plant some additional seeds. So that's what's next. <laughs> but I was like, oh, it fell right when we were getting, pulling the thing out of the trash can. <sighs> it's okay though. Everything's okay. Nothing happened to the plant. And it's finally getting transplanted. Well guys, I got it done. The pumpkin is finally in the ground and out of that silly trash can. It's looking a little sorry right now, kind of wilted. <laughs> uh, that's just because it's been put through the ringer and it's a super, super hot day. But I watered it, I gave it a little food to give it a little bit of a boost. Also threw some extra seeds down to uh, see if we can't get some more to sprout. And then we might also try and throw some squash in here at some point, but I don't know. Um, we have to go through our seeds and see what we have first. But Fingers crossed that this thing takes off and gives us some pumpkins. The ducks would really appreciate that because they love pumpkin and I would appreciate that because I wouldn't mind trying my hand at some pumpkin recipes from pumpkins that I actually grew, which would be totally awesome. What's a vlog without some ducks? <laughs> They're super excited because they just got fresh water and I let some of it spill over so they now have mud to play in and they have all these cute little black faces. But they are in heaven right now. Marvin and Orville are still over here in duck jail or duck hospital, whatever you want to call it, and they are not happy with me. But they are on the mend and they are not going to be set free until they have their little poofs back. Um, excuse me, where are you all going? I don't think so. I don't think so. Come on. Come on, back in, back in, back in. Back in. Waddle, 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 waddle. Another update. Every time I come out here to put the ducks away at night, the girls are already in the duck house. The boys are the last ones to go in now, which is super, super awesome. I don't even have to herd ducks that just come in. The boys run in, I shut the, the ramp up, give them some peas, and that is it. Another, another update. Our tomato plants have tomatoes on them. Look at this thing. Oops. See, it's got a little green tomato. And then there's some more over here. There. And there, and there's one on the other side. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even see that one. That's so, so cool. Spring is definitely here. So many things are producing fruit and vegetables and flowers are blooming and the ducks are going crazy and it is hot. <laughs> so Florida spring is for sure here. And I am so excited. I can't wait to get the rest of the stuff in the ground or in the planters or wherever we're gonna plant it and see what other things we can produce. I'm still planning on doing some gardening videos like how to grow celery and how to grow tomatoes, but I kind of want to make sure that they t ours turn out to be like tasty and everything before I do that because I don't want to tell everybody, you know, this awesome trick to grow tomatoes and find out the fruit tastes horrible. So stay tuned. That's going to happen if ours turn out to be tasty, which since there's some tomatoes on the plants, we should find out pretty soon. 
everything is producing. We've also got some green beans going on here. If you guys can see right there, see that? So these things are doing really well. And then the little ones over there, if you can see, have sprouted. And then I've shown you guys the peppers before. But we've got some anchos going, we've got some poblanos. So everything's doing really, really, really well. I'm super excited. These tomato plants are like um, bushier and bigger and they look healthier, but I haven't been able to find any tomatoes on them yet. So I'm not sure what's going on. But the other ones who look a little wilty and sorry looking actually have tomatoes. So we'll see. I don't know. Maybe those ones are doing better. I've been testing it out, remember, in the pots and then this planter. And it goes back and forth on which one I think is the better, <laughs> the better way to do tomatoes. Um, Ultimately, we want to get tomatoes, so if this one, this planter thing doesn't plant or doesn't produce any, then I guess pots are better, but I don't see why it wouldn't produce any tomatoes. It just hasn't yet. Um, but the plants definitely look bigger and bushier and healthier, so I'm not sure why they I don't have tomatoes yet, but we'll see. All right, guys, that's it for us. The ducks are in their house, and I'm going to give them their peas, and we're going to say goodnight to you. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep following along with us, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for joining us on another vlog, and like I said, I promise I will start picking up the posting. It's just been a crazy past week, and so it's been kind of hard to vlog, but you know what? Life gets in the way sometimes. It happens. But I am still here, and I will still be posting, um, hopefully more regularly. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you later.